tech video brought to you by Align and Enterprise Hobby. My name is Gail and I happen to be fortunate enough to be sitting in the corporate office of Align Helicopters in Taiwan. So thank you very much for watching my videos and appreciate the feedback that you give us so that we can provide better information to you, our loyal customers and users of Align products. I have in front of me the T-Rex 500X and my Fataba 18SZ. What this video is going to discuss is the two new Align ESCs, the RCE BL80X ESC, which is included in the T-Rex 500X Dominator Super Combo Kit. The other ESC, which is the configuration and setup, is exactly the same, is the RCE BL 50X ESC, which is included in the Align 470 LM and LP Super Combo kits. As you can see in the background, Alan Zabo Jr. is flying the 500X out at the local private Align flying field we visited yesterday. And let's go ahead and get right to the video. We're going to change some things and move the uh, helicopter out and change the angle of the camera so that you can see exactly how the steps and what we do to configure this ESC. So give us a couple minutes and we'll be right back with you. We recommend performing a complete setup to ensure the throttle is calibrated to your transmitter. I have the actual speed control on the bench here and you can see the motor plugs and also the, the wires on the other end and then the ESC wire. This is now installed on the T-Rex 500X. I'm going to place this to the side and bring in my transmitter which is a Fataba T18SZ. Let's talk about the features of the RCE BL80X. The part number is HES80X01. It offers a continuous current of 80 amps with a peak current of 100 amps. It provides a BC output between 6 and 8.4 volts with a continuous 5 amp and a burst current of 7 amps. The BL80X has two plugs located on the side where the throttle signal wire is located. The throttle signal wire feeds BEC power. This plug is the auxiliary BEC that can be used to provide an additional BEC power feed to the receiver or fly barless unit. This plug is labeled data in the instruction manual and allows for future firmware updates when any become available. Both the BL50X and the BL80X have six setup options beginning with brake, electronic timing, battery protection, the type of aircraft you want to select whether it's airplane, Helicopter 1 with a soft start, which has no governor, or Helicopter 2, which is a soft start with governor mode enabled. We'll discuss that in a minute. Throttle response speed, and then the BEC output voltage. So the 80 amp, which we're going to use right now, has the 6 to 8.4 volt option for the BEC. The 50 amp speed control by a line has the ability to change the BEC output voltage between 5 volts to 8.4 volts. So it's 5 volts, 6.5 volts, or 8.4. The default setting for the aircraft is helicopter with the governor not enabled. If you choose to change to helicopter 2 setting, which is a soft start with governor mode, then in order to have the governor active or initialize the motor, your throttle curve needs to be greater than 50 if you're using a spectrum because the spectrum curve is linear is 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. So you must be above 50. If you're using some of the Fataba radios, follow that same um, pattern 
as far as linear curve, the 18SZ does not, the, it's zero at center stick, and if you go to the negative side, then you go from zero to 100, and if you go from the positive side, then you go zero to 100. It just needs to be above zero or mid stick, which in this radio is 50%. In this radio, zero. So you have to look at your actual setup of your transmitter, which you're using. With governor mode enabled, the recommended flat throttle curve is between 75 and 85 percent of the throttle. At 75 percent, you'll get approximately head speed of about 2,200 RPMs. And at 85%, it'll be approximately 2,600 RPMs. 75 to 80% flat line curve is going to deliver somewhere between 2,200 and 2,600 RPMs. There's a lot of factors that can change the head speed based on your setting. Uh, a weaker battery is going to lower your head speed. It could be cold out, which will lower your head speed. It could be warm out, which will cause the batteries to work or perform a little better. There are some varying factors which will change your head speed. If you go above 85% there's not enough headroom for the motor to maintain consistent head speed. It is recommended not to go above 85% if you will be using the governor mode. We've removed the main blades and the tail blades which are off camera over here to the left. That's a safety feature. Always recommend you doing this. You're going to be using this throttle stick in the high position, the mid position, and the low position just to ensure your safety that nothing happens by removing the blades if the motor does activate in some way it's just going to spin on the bench and you're, it would be very easy to unplug the battery. The other thing is you do have to have the motor plugged in because the ESC is not making the noise. It's actually sending a signal to the motor which causes the motor to make the sound and chirp. You have to have it plugged in otherwise you can't hear the chirping sequence. If you look at the actual manual, which you can download, or the manual is included inside each one of the um, 470 instruction manual, and in this case the 500X instruction manual, it has the setup parameters and how to run through the settings. First, turn on the transmitter, and you need to make sure that you have the right model. I'm going to move the stick into the high position. And when I do this, you'll hear initialization, and then you're going to hear some chirps, and then you'll start hearing a single beep. And the single beep will be consistent in speed, and at that point, you're going to move the stick according to the instructions which are on the screen to the right, to the low, middle, or high position. We recommend that you set them according to what's in the instruction, and you can turn around and change the BEC setting if you want the 8.4 volts or in this case we're going to enable governor mode. Prior to doing any of the setup with the ESC, you have to have a linear throttle curve. So depending on radio, it's either 0, 25, 50, 75, 100, or if you're using some of the Fataba systems or maybe another transmitter type, it could be minus 100, minus 50, 0, plus 50, plus 100. The linear curve itself is a box, and if you lay a ruler from the bottom left hand corner to the right hand corner that's how your line needs to go is from the bottom left to the top right of the box that's linear so make sure that if you've done any changes to your transmitter in normal mode that you check to make sure you're linear because the actual setup procedure has to read high stick mid stick and low stick I'm going to go ahead and turn on the transmitter Move the throttle stick into the highest position. You're going to hear a sequence of three beeps, then a set of tones. That's going to state that the ESC is going into programming mode. I'll lower the stick, and then you'll hear a sequence of a single beep. You will hear the power on beeps. The ESC will automatically calibrate the throttle high position. lower position
Now we're in brake. I don't need to move the stick because it's in a low position. That's brake disabled. And it'll go ahead and take the sequence. That acknowledges that it's set. Now we're going to hear two beeps, electronic timing. I'm going to go ahead and move the stick to the middle position, which is mid timing. That's the default. And not do anything. You'll hear the acknowledgement that he accepted the setting. It's accepted. Now we'll hear three beeps, which is battery protection. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and lower the stick to the default, which is high cutoff voltage. We'll wait for the acceptance tone. Now we'll hear a series of four beeps, which is select the aircraft. I'm going to change from helicopter one soft start to helicopter two with the governor by moving into the high stick position. Wait for the acceptance. Accepted. Now we're going to hear five beats, which is throttle response speed. We're going to go ahead and leave the stick in the high position for default, which is quick speed. And it'll turn around and accept that in just a second. You'll hear this tone. The last will be the six beeps, which is the BEC output voltage. And I'm going to go ahead and select 7.2 volts by moving the stick to the center position. Wait for the acceptance tone. I'm going to lower the stick. And now we can go ahead and unplug the battery. And the settings are all set in the ESC. And just to make sure that everything boots properly, I'm going to go ahead and plug the battery back in. Wait for the Beast Plus to initialize itself. And as you can see, everything works fine. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug the battery. Turn off the transmitter. As you can see, configuring the ESC, whether it's the 80 amp Align RCE BL 80X, which is on the 500X, or RCE BL 50X, which is included in the 470 kit, is very simple and straightforward. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook. And as always, 